You Raise a Raisin by Pam Munoz Ryan, illustrated by Craig Brown. How do you raise a raisin? Tell me so I'll know. They're such peculiar little things. How do they sprout and grow? Do raisins grow on Earth or other planets far away? Do aliens collect them and space shuttle them our way? Raisins are dried grapes. So far, there's no proof that raisins grow on other planets. Raisins are grown on Earth in countries like Turkey, Iran, Greece, Australia, and the United States. So who discovered raisins? Were they here when Earth began? Who was the first to nibble them, dinosaur or man? Raisins were probably discovered when someone or something tasted grapes that had dried on the vine. Over the years, people and animals figured out which grapes produced the sweetest, yummiest raisins. Do raisins grow in one place, like Raisin Creek or Raisin Hill? Is there a special town called Raisin Field or Raisinville? Raisins grow best in areas with nice dirt, many days of hot weather, a dry climate, and plenty of water. Almost all of the raisins in the United States are grown in the San Joaquin Valley of Cal of California, near towns like Chowchilla, Danuba, Kingsburg, Selma, Weed Patch, and even Raisin City. About 90% of the raisins sold in the United States come from the area around Fresno, California. Do farmers plant some seeds from the local garden shop and wait for raisin bushes to produce a raisin crop? Farmers start a new crop of raisins by taking cuttings from an older grapevine. These pieces of stem are planted in sand until they sprout. Then they are planted in the fields next to a wooden stake. Notice how the grapevines and the sprawling branches grow. Does a grapevine tamer train them into picture-perfect rows? Grapevines are grown about eight feet apart. Field workers hand tie the sturdy branches or canes to rows of wire. There are usually two sets of wire, a top set that is about six feet high and a second wire that is three or four feet high. How long do raisins take to grow? A week, a month, or a year? How many hours must you wait for a raisin to appear? It takes at least three years until the vines are old enough for the first crop of raisins. That's 26,280 hours. When grapes are ripe and ready, how do farmers get them down? Do they rent a burly giant to shake them to the ground? When the grapes are ready, skilled grape pickers snag the grape clusters from the vines using a sharp vine cutter. Many grapes are turned into raisins the same way they've been for thousands of years. They're left to dry naturally in the sun. Why do raisins lie on what do raisins lie on while they're basking in the sun? Do they rest on little beach towels until they're dried and done? The grape clusters are laid on brown paper trays in the ground, on the ground, between the grapevine rows. This is called laying the grapes down. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Most raisin growers plant their vineyards in east to west rows. This way, grapes drying between the rows receive the most sun. If they were drying in north to south rows, the grapes would be in the shade part of the day. And when it comes to raising raisins, the more sun, the better. How long do clusters lie around to sweeten, dry, and bake? How many weeks in the valley heat does raisin making take? Raisins bake in the sun for about two to three weeks. Then the paper trays are rolled into bundles that look like burritos and are left in the field for a few more days to make sure that all the raisins are dry. Raisins do not look like grapes. They're withered up and wrinkled. Are they soaked inside a bathtub until their skin is crinkled? As grapes bake in the hot sun, their water evaporates. The more water they lose, the more the grapes shrivel, causing wrinkles. How many grapes must a farmer dry upon the valley ground to make a box of raisins that weighs about one pound?
It takes about four and one half pounds of fresh grapes to make one pound of raisins. Who puts raisins in the boxes that keep them dry, sweet and dried? Do tiny fairy princesses stuff each one inside? When they're needed, raisin bins are brought into the factory for packaging. It takes only 10 minutes from bin to package. Workers and machines take off the stems and cap stems, sort and wash the raisins. Then the raisins are packaged in a variety of boxes and bags. What happens to the raisins that aren't the very best? Are they sent to raisin prep school until they pass the test? When it comes to raisins, nothing is bad. The stems and cap stems are ground up and used for animal feed. Raisins that are not perfect are made into raisin concentrate that's used as a natural preservative in cakes, breads, and cookies. The best raisins are used for eating, baking, and adding to cereals. One, get plenty of sun. Two, roll over after two weeks. Three, dry evenly. Raisins taste so very sweet, but they're considered sugar-free. Is each one dipped in a honey pot by a busy honey bee? Raisins are naturally sweet. For centuries, people have valued raisins. Scientists who plan the space shuttle menus knew that raisins are the perfect fast food for long journeys. They are lightweight, don't spoil easily, satisfying the craving for something sweet, and provide nutrition and energy.